This video will outline troubleshooting of the intake air temperature sensor and circuit for the MXV fuel injection system, including error codes, use of the FI diagnostic tool, and provide tips for troubleshooting failures and running performance problems that might not trigger an error code. The intake air temperature sensor is included in the MAP sensor assembly, which has four wires, 5 volt DC reference voltage, a signal wire for the MAP sensor, a common ground wire, which is black, and the intake air temperature signal wire, which is brown. The air temperature sensor is a variable resistor using an NTC type of resistor, negative temperature coefficient, which means as the air temperature increases, the resistance of the sensor decreases. The intake air temperature sensor has two possible fault codes, P0112, intake air temperature circuit low voltage, P0113, intake air temperature circuit high voltage or open. The IAT settings on the FI Diag tool will display the temperature reading in the intake track and this could be a pretty high reading if the engine is running or just shut off. If the engine hasn't been running for a few hours, the temperature should be the same or very close to room temperature. The intake air temperature sensor is a variable resistor that changes its resistance and therefore the voltage on the signal wire based on the temperature. Similar to the MAP sensor, the normal range of voltage is between 0.6 and 4.8 volts DC. If the voltage is 0.5 or lower, the ECU will set error code P0112. Three possible causes for this the signal wire shorted to ground, or the signal wire shorted to another wire in the harness that might provide a path to ground, or a sensor failure. If the signal voltage is over 4.8 volts, then the ECU would set P0113. Causes for this could be an open signal wire, an open ground wire between the sensor and this parallel connection, or the signal wire shorted to either a 5 volt or even a 12 volt circuit inside the wire harness, or a sensor failure. Now if the ground wire were broken after this parallel connection, it would affect all these sensors, so you'd have multiple error codes. As we covered in the ECU and self-diagnostic video, the intake air and engine temperature sensors get the 5 volts DC reference voltage from inside the ECU on a series circuit, so the testing procedure is a little different on temperature sensors. And even though the air temp sensor is built into the MAP sensor case, it only shares the ground wire, so it will test the sensor and circuit like a completely separate component. Back probe to the brown wire and the black wire at the intake air temperature sensor. Also back probe to the brown wire at the ECU. Connect the positive lead of your voltmeter to the brown wire at the sensor and the negative lead to the black wire at the sensor. Connect the FI Diag tool, turn the main switch on, and set the Diag tool to Diag IAT. Note the temperature and voltage readings. This chart will give you an idea of the readings you should get. As you can see, higher temperatures will equal a lower voltage reading. In lower temperatures, a higher voltage. If the temperature and voltage readings match this chart within the tolerance percentage, the sensor and circuit should be good. If the readings vary a great deal, use the following steps to verify the sensor circuit. Move the positive lead to the brown wire at the ECU. The voltage should be the same. If it's higher, there is unwanted resistance in the brown wire between the sensor and the ECU. Switch the positive lead back and forth between the sensor and the ECU a couple times to recheck the voltage readings. The readings will change as the air temperature changes. Connect the positive lead of your voltmeter to the black wire at the sensor and the negative lead to a good ground on the engine. The voltage should be less than 0.02 volts. This voltage drop test confirms the ground circuit from the sensor through the ECU is good. If the voltage is higher than 0.02, there is excessive resistance in the black wire between the sensor and the ECU, a ground circuit problem inside the ECU, or the ECU does not have a good ground. If the ECU detects a failure in the intake air temperature circuit, it will switch to a default mode to allow the engine to keep running. The ECU will set the intake air temperature to match the engine temperature at that time up to a maximum of 122 degrees. For example, if the air temperature is 100 degrees and the engine was running at 160 degrees, the ECU will set the intake air to 122 if it detects a failure in the intake air temperature circuit. Depending on the difference between the actual air temperature and the default setting of 122 degrees, engine performance could be affected when the ECU starts using the default temperature in the fuel injection calculations. Be sure to watch all the other fuel injection system videos and pull them up on your smartphone whenever needed. Thanks for watching.